Hey, my name is Matt, and uh, I'm here to give you tips on visiting the Hoover Dam. So we, Cheryl and I, just got done checking out the Hoover Dam. We've been here a few times before, but uh, not since the new bridge is completed. So just want to tell you kind of how to visit the Hoover Dam, okay? So the first thing you have to do is park. They have a big parking garage here because they get a lot of traffic here. And uh, parking is $10 per vehicle. So be prepared for that. It does not, if you have a national park pass, that does not help because this is run by the Bureau of Reclamation. And one thing we learned about the Hoover Dam was that it's self, uh, let's see, Cheryl, what is it? What is it? Like it's self-sustaining self with its funding. The funding, it, the Hoover Dam earns money by selling the electricity and by giving tours and charging people for parking here. So that helps keep it going. So you're gonna park, and then the second thing you're gonna do is visit the sculpture. They have an interesting sculpture there that they built, I think, just shortly after the dam that has these two kind of angel wing type uh, sculptures there. And they kind of have this whole 1930s, 1920s art deco style. And so you'll also see that on the dam as you go through. And they have some interesting little reliefs and just uh, like gold doors like kind of like what you would see the Empire State Building um, with that Art Deco style. So visit the sculpture which is a an uh, honor trying to honor the incredible engineering feat and achievement that it was. Next to the sculpture also has um, a monument there or a, a plaque for the people who died. So there were around a hundred to four hundred people who died in building the Hoover Dam. Officially 96, but uh, they think it was actually a lot higher than that. Then the next thing you're gonna do is walk across the, the actual dam. You can go walk across it on both sides of the dam and take pictures of Lake Mead on the one side, and then the dam and the Colorado River and the canyon on the other side. And uh, so that's pretty incredible views there that you'll get of both the canyon and staring way down also, while you're on the dam, you will be crossing from Nevada to Arizona. So the border of the states runs right down the Colorado River. And uh, so you can stand right there with a foot in each state. Also, a foot in each time zone because they are on different time zones. Nevada is in the Pacific and, the, um, and Arizona is in the Mountain West time zone or the Mountain time zone. And so, um, they might be on the same time zone. Let's see, Arizona doesn't change times. So I don't know, maybe there's sometimes where they're at the same time and sometimes where they're different or something like that. Kind of odd. Cheryl tried crossing over to the other side to see if the phone would pick up that it was a different time zone and it did not work, right? Um, okay, so that's the next step. Then after you're done walking across the dam, you can come back and visit the visitor center. They charge you $10 per person. To, to stop at the visitor center. Now currently they're not giving any tours, so they do often have tours where I think you can go down to the bottom of the dam, I believe. And be prepared for Statue of Liberty security. The security is, okay, this is a, a major <laughs> secure site because of course if somebody were to do some damage to this dam, it would be a complete disaster, right? So anyway, they have some security there, but. If you pay the $10 to go into the visitor center, you'll get a movie, which was done a long time ago. The movie's pretty old, but it still is educational. <laughs> After the movie, you have the option to go to a uh, slideshow presentation by one of the employees, which if you want more information than what is what is in the movie, go to the slideshow presentation. She actually does have some very interesting slides and information about how they were able to divert the river and all that while they did. Um, okay, so that would be the visitor center. Oh, then when you get done with the visitor center, you can come up and go to the old visitor center. So back in the 1941, they built a, an initial visitor center with some exhibits there. We got a kick out of this one because they had this huge diorama map and they show you all the dams in the West along the Colorado River and other places. <laughs> and and uh, we thought the diorama was a, a, an incredible engineering feat in and of itself. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the guy who made the diorama, it took him like a year and a half to make the thing. It was kind of kind of a funny deal that you can go in. It's like taking a trip back in time if you go into that exhibit. So not the most educational. You can skip that if you want, but it is kind of a fun 10-minute presentation. And you only get that if you pay 
the $10 entrance fee to the main visitor center. That's kind of your add-on at the end. When you're done there, you can, they do have a cafe and a gift shop that you can stop at if you want to get something to eat or, or if you want to buy. I didn't see what kind of memorabilia was in there, but uh, was there anything good? <laughs> Spoons, snow globes, Christmas ornaments. Dam related merchandise. Dam related, yes. A lot of t-shirts with the word dam on them. Ah, yes. Yep. And that was, yes, of course. I left that out of, as one of the steps is you need to make the obligatory damn joke, right? So somebody, <laughs> somebody saw us and he said, do you want me to take your damn picture? And uh, so that's, you know. Yeah. That smiled and said, yeah. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once you're done with all that, then you can get in your car and you can drive over the dam to the other side. There are some viewpoints there that you can get up a little higher and look down upon Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. Once you're done there, you drive back across the, the dam and you can drive on this big, huge bridge. So it used to be that to go to California or to cross the states here, you had to drive across the dam. That was the only way to get across. But about 10 years ago, 12 years ago now, they built a much larger bypass bridge. The bridge is huge. It's crazy big. And when you're driving over the bridge, they've built higher walls so you can't look down into the, the canyon. So, but you can stop and get out and walk across the bridge. So that's a pretty popular activity here so that you can see the canyon and the river and all that stuff. Finally, when you're done with all that, um, the little town of Boulder, Arizona is right by here. This was originally called the Boulder Dam and um, the, they set up this town of Boulder just for all the workers who were gonna be working on the dam. And it's still a town and it has a museum that you can go to, of course, some places to eat if you wanna do that. But uh, that would wrap up how to visit the Hoover Dam. It would take, if you're coming from Las Vegas, it takes about a half, 45 minutes to get here. And then this is maybe, what, an hour long? activity of, of just seeing the dam and going to the visitor center and all that if you want to walk across the bridge so you're talking about a, about a half a day maybe to visit it from Las Vegas.